Um, I'm Fiona McManus. Mm-hmm. I'm Gwen Matthews. Oh, both M last names yeah, are already yeah. on a, <laughs> a good start. And today we're just going to be introducing ourselves to each other mm-hmm. and having a little conversation. We are both interns at CCTV, Center for Media and Democracy. Mm-hmm. Um, today is my first day. I've been here for an hour and 16 minutes. And Gwen, this is her... For, this is my fourth day. Um, yeah, this is my first time moving off of another project. So I'm excited. Yes. Cool. Um, how did you get this internship or where did this come from for you? Yeah, so I was in a CDAE class with a bunch of PCOM majors and my professor is doing a documentary about this place. He's a filmmaker. So... Uh, I don't know. He was explaining it, and we came in, and we saw the studio, and we got to play around with some of the equipment. Was it Miles? Yeah. Oh, I this I did the same really? thing. <laughs> so I actually was in his class twice, so we did that twice, and I don't know. It just seems so fun. Everyone that we talked to was really passionate about what was happening here, and it just seemed like a really safe environment. So when I found out I needed an internship for my minor, I was like, yeah why not yeah what about you cool well similarly well kind of not similarly but I did I took um film production or production foundations with Miles so we came and visited last semester and that was really cool we got to like do a little show and play with like the cameras we my team loved the fade-ins like you could fade halfway so you'd see like two of you I don't know it was really cool but um so that was my introduction to this place but um I was I actually already had an internship for RDS. I did audio journalism with the community news service, but I was looking at this other program to like, another program didn't work out. And so I found the class nonprofits for so and social change. Mm -hmm. And you get paired with a nonprofit and get to intern with them with Barbara Rachelson, who's a state legislator. Um, And yeah, this was the first one on the list. And I was like, wait, I know this place. And it seemed really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, It was my first choice and I got it. So that's great. Yeah. I feel like coming into and talking to Travis was like really just nice. Like it was just like, okay, let's help each other out and have fun and produce media. So intriguing. Yeah. It's definitely something I'm less, I guess I'm experienced with it in um academic setting like I've had to do a lot of media things but it's still so like (laughs) feels new to me yeah it feels like a really important experience to be able to say that you've done to like knowing like telling an employee or that like you're confident in like editing something or holding a camera or like even talking to people and I feel like they're just skills that I should really have especially if I'm gonna like go into the career of like making films and stuff it's all about connections so. Yeah, definitely. I think the skills are really transferable. I'm kind of mm-hmm. excited. Although it is, it's a little daunting, but it's fun. Yeah. Like, it's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, the creative nature of it's a little hard. Yeah. But super fun in the same way. So, yeah. It I, balances out. The creative liberties scare me a bit. Me too. <laughs> but I think it'll be okay. It's a lifetime of, like, rigid schooling, I feel like. <laughs> That's what I was talking to someone about that. I was like, I'm so used to structured academics. So coming in here when someone's like, Oh, we're not going to hold your hand, really? Like, what do you want to do? I was like, well, I, I would, like, finish the video, and I'd be like, okay, Travis, is this good? And he was like, well, do you like it? And I'm like, um, no, I guess do I don't you know. like it? <laughs> uh, That's yeah. funny. Wow. It's like breaking a habitual cycle, though, of having that structure and I was talking to someone who was like you know when you get in the real workspace like they're not gonna hold your hand like you're gonna have to be independent and I was like what are you talking about (laughs) yeah I think in some fields like in anything in this field it's kind of gonna be that way I feel Mm -hmm. like maybe if you're in like a corporate job you might have like this 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 but on a day-to-day basis you're gonna kind of have to be proactive yeah and you've got to be confident which is something I need to work on (laughs) me too well here we are. Here we are, yeah. <laughs> this is the time to do it. So what are your goals that you talked about? Well, I came in kind of not knowing too much. Like I had a very like preliminary description of it and obviously it like spoke to me, but I wasn't sure like specifically like I I don't know. I, I didn't know what my roles would be like yeah. um 
And then Travis was like, well, what would you want to do? And I was like, I thought you were going to tell me what I was going to do. <laughs> so I definitely have to think more about like specific content things like to make and go out there. But I think skills I'm hoping to like hone in on is definitely editing more. Mm -hmm. And I think camera work yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, yeah, camera work really excites me, especially as a film major. Like, these cameras are just so cool, and I love holding big camcorders. Um, and I have experience using the editing software, Premiere Pro, but I feel like just in the past few days, I've learned a lot, especially about how to use, like, Photoshop and stuff for title cards. So I'm really trying to grow my technical skills, but at the same time, I am also relying on this to just grow my confidence with talking to people. I feel like I don't talk to community members much and I don't know how to develop a story well. So I feel like this is all just going to combine tech stuff and confidence and talking. And I don't know. I just feel like it's a really well-rounded thing and I just have a lot of goals. Uh, but working on a story is like my main one. I need to like brainstorm come up with a list and maybe for the rest of my internship I just like try to pick one each week or something yeah I think that's a good idea because I think content creation or like story finding a story is like <sighs> one of the hardest parts and I struggled with that in my other in my journalism internship and it was like it was kind of hard and mm -hmm. then and then the aspect of having to go and like ask people like can I sit and record yeah. you and interview you and then use it <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's a little bit and a lot of people are so nice, too. Like, we're lucky to yeah, be in, like, kind of a more community-oriented in some mm -hmm. ways. And a creative space, too. And a creative space, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I think getting more comfortable just... I think it is exposure therapy, like, going on the street and just being, like... I, once you do it a few times, yeah. like, you'll get into it. But once it's just been a while, and mm -hmm. it's a little scary. I was doing a project for Miles about the thrift shop Junktiques down the street, and... I went there during a party that they were having mm -hmm. and I just tried to like approach people and tell them what I was doing and I got rejected so many times and it was kind of a blow to like the persona I was putting forth but I feel like this time I'm like I gotta do what I gotta do you're gonna get rejected people are not gonna want to talk to you that's so real <laughs> but also hopefully I'm not alone doing it I would love to like collab too so I feel like it'll be a good experience. Yeah, that was one of the things I said, like, I love working in a team. And also, like, if you're out doing something, well, it kind of requires a team. Like, if someone's yeah. going to be doing that, which makes me a lot more <laughs> comfortable, I think. Mm -hmm. But I just like working with a team and collabing. And I think it might be easier to, like, come up with things. Or, like, I feel totally. like bouncing stuff off is, like, someone says one thing and you're like, wait. And then suddenly you have, like, this whole yes. idea. So I'm hoping maybe that. I love <laughs> storyboarding. Mm. I love taking out a little notebook and a fun pen and, like, just going to work. Yeah, you're a film major, I'm sure you... Yeah. I don't know. God, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really bad at storyboarding, though. My drawings are always horrible. Oh, like, drawing it out. Oh. They do, yeah, we do that. And you can also do it just, like, written. But the drawing, you don't want to see. We will not be doing that. <laughs> as long as you can see it in your head. I yeah, like. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely need to like sit and think about specific content things. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll help me just be more aware too. like, I don't know, just with Agreed. everything going on, like every on day to day, like homework, school, work, like the, everything. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't prioritize like things mm -hmm. that I am interested in, like being connected with the community and knowing what's going on, yeah. especially since this isn't like our hometowns really. Mm -hmm. So I feel really detached sometimes. Mm -hmm. Actually for Christmas, my dad got me like an Alexa so I can like facetime him on it and like hear the news that? and stuff yeah it was like an echo show or something he was like you know you're kind of detached up there and it made me i mean it was kind of stupid and but grateful but um it made me realize i was like yeah i'm kind of out of touch with the community and i don't know what's going on around me and even listening to conversations in here they're all so aware and so passionate about what's going on and i'm like I need to, like, get a grip on my surroundings. I need to step up my game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just being conscious about it, I guess. Like, I don't know. Putting the effort in. Yeah. Well, also, this, despite its, like, creative aspects, like, it is a sense of structure that, like, gives me the motivation to do it because I have a purpose for it. Like Exactly. I don't know. The if structure I'm, helps. Yeah. If I'm not being, like, pushed to do something, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to even think about it. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> or I'm going to worry about it in the back of my head, but am I going to do anything about it? No, like I'm not going to do it. Even like my roommate will send me the like electric bill and she's like, just pay me by this date. I'm not going to think about that until <laughs> the like day before that date. Yeah. I just, things just go to the back of my head so easily and I'm constantly coming up with like ideas for things. I don't know. This will just be good to like time management and just get stuff done. It's going to test me, I think, the time management. I'm really bad. I bought a planner this year. Usually I get like a honking one. I got a small one so I could bring it around everywhere. Right. What's yeah. a honking one? Like a, just like a big one. I don't know why I said honking. But. Oh, oh, like that was just an adjective you were yeah, using. Yeah, oh, yeah. I thought it was a brand. <laughs> um, yeah, you like squeeze it and it honks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like, I think I just gave up on a planner last year and I was just like, I was literally like living on the lamest edge but like living on the edge like just like day to day I'd be like yeah. oh that's due like I guess I have to do that like that's really bad so I did also get a planner but now I have to get back into using it yeah I think I need like a literal written down I need to like gentle parent myself <laughs> into getting my life together to actually I so I have a therapist and she was like you need an appointment book like mm -hmm. she has an appointment book that like schedules out her day and I was like I need that because my I mean, time a lot management. of people do that with like google calendar and stuff but that that I can't do it online. I need it in front of me. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. My memory is really bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Um, so what are you most excited for? I don't know. I guess, like, well, right now I'm, like, a little overwhelmed. I think everything. I think seeing what I come up with, because right now I'm, yeah. like, what am I going to do? So I think once I figure that out, I think, like, seeing something that you've made or like seeing actual progress in something mm -hmm. is so validating yeah so well exciting even making like a title card on photoshop after not knowing how to use photoshop at all i was like oh my god gwen that's slay like who am i <laughs> even though it was, it was so easy and like but it's new yeah it's exciting it was fun and i'm really excited to get to know people more too like in here like i feel like it's a really close-knit thing so yeah, I feel like people are the best part of, like, any place, even when I'm starting, like... Always. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, like... I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm... I spend... I don't know. Like, I sometimes I forget, and then I'm, like, around a bunch of people, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love being around people. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't... So my job here... Um, at UVM, I work for University Event Services, oh, and... Oh, my roommate so, does that. Oh, who are, who are she? Haley. Haley. Stevens. Stevens. Name dropping, doxing on the podcast. Psst, psst, psst. Uh, yeah, I don't know her. But okay. maybe, is know. she new? No. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Just, just forget I said. Okay, never mind, everyone. <laughs> um, back to the show. Um, even being gone for a month and then coming back, I was like so excited to see my coworkers and I was like, oh my God, what is happening to me? Because usually I've worked so many retail jobs and I just am not close to them. And it's like people from all different stages of life, too. That's the best so, part about working a job, to be like honest. It's true. But I do like being surrounded by students that I can relate to. That's you true. know, but it, yeah, it, like it has its benefits working yeah. with people like older than you and stuff. Yeah. I feel like classes are supposed to do that, but I feel like maybe it's yeah. COVID or something, but like I go into class and everyone's just like, well, sometimes people talk to each other, but if I don't know anybody, like, I feel like there's not much, like, no. we go in there and we sit and we listen yeah. and we do what we have to do and then we leave. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Did it, is it always that way? I feel like sometimes it used to be, like, I don't know, there was at least something, like, I feel like where you could have, like, I don't know. I feel like my freshman year, like, people wanted to talk. In person? I was. Year? I was a year earlier, so it was, like, online. Oh, that wow. That probably stifled people a lot. I think anxiety oh, grew. Me. Yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> it, it killed me. <laughs> it took me out. Mm -hmm. The other day, though, I was showing someone how to do something on their phone for a project. And I was like, is it okay if I hold your phone? And she was like, yeah. And then suddenly she just gripped the phone out of my hand like she was done with me in I was class like, yeah i was like okay like you could have just said like oh i don't need your help anymore like i feel like people don't know what how to socialize doing? anymore i was just showing her how to transfer a file oh. like <laughs> it's just weird yeah, i think people struggle i feel like i don't have good 
conversations with a lot of people. Well, we can practice that here too exactly. with interviewing That's people. That's what I'm trying and, to do. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people, like obviously we're going to get rejected probably sometimes, mm-hmm. but I feel like a lot of people here are kind of open to at least talk or like also maybe in the same boat we're like wanting to talk to people and not having, like when yeah. a lot of times you're, like people, when you give them the chance, they will like talk. They will, they want oh, to speak to you. Like they yeah. want to tell you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially like if they're just like, passing by like they feel special you know yeah, that too like and you're it's just <laughs> good to see them feel like that too it's like yeah you are a part of a community and I want to hear what you have to say yeah that's mm-hmm. so validating mm-hmm. and I feel like something because I did it kind of in high school a lot it would be like around like the job I had was like we'd have to go and like ask people to sign like do you know what this is can do you want to sign oh, this petition scary super scary but um what was my point I don't know. I don't know. What That's my point okay. Was. Like, man, you know it's gone. That's okay. It'll come back. Yeah, maybe I'll find it. Hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Petition scare me. It, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I know. Oh, what I was go ahead. Say. Um, having to do that made me appreciate the people that do that. So I feel like yes. I'm more, I feel like younger people, it's the same. Like we don't answer the front door. We don't answer yes. phone calls Yes, and we're not going to talk to people on the street. Like that's just kind of the nature or maybe that's mm-hmm. just new England too. Uh, no, <laughs> Probably but, like yeah. a facet of it, but like, I don't know, having the experience of having to do that makes me be like, if someone talks to me on the street, I'm like, I'll give it to you. Yeah, like I'm yeah. gonna stop. Except those people on Church Street that keep asking for donations to oh, something. Oh yeah, um, it's like this one. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? When they don't celebrate their birthdays, it's like a religion. Jehovah's Witness. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah. haven't seen them around. They're always there. Really? Do they dress up? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't know. Really? They always have like a little. Maybe they're avoiding me. Yeah. They know I'm like not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really get approached by them. It's usually like the the younger people that are with them approach me. I think the older people like assume that they yeah, see a college student. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So wait, you, are you from New England? Where are you from? I'm from Boston, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. How about you? I'm from Connecticut. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. We're not that far. Right outside of New Haven. So I get the New Haven style pizza. Very good. I don't know what that is. Really? It's like a brick oven Girl, pizza. I think people in Connecticut really overestimate how important Connecticut is because I don't know. Okay. I don't care about it. I <laughs> didn't know that people hated Connecticut until coming here. I found out that people don't even consider it a part of New England. Really? You people hate it. And it's like, girl, I'm sorry. Connecticut. Well, if I say it too many times, I'm going to like not register it as a word. But... It's just unimportant. Yeah. It's just like less significant. I wouldn't say I actively despise it's boring, it. boring <laughs> and it's, I think it's smaller, right? Probably. And I think one joke I think that's been made is a few people from Connecticut, like super unaware, like mm-hmm. socially, culturally, like I just had an totally. old roommate and then like a couple people were in the same room and it was like, they didn't know what this like really popular thing was and it was like culturally relevant and I can't remember what it was and they were like all from Connecticut all the people that did it though that's so "Hmm." interesting Interesting. yeah I'm very like I think like the biggest thing people think about is like Yale like Yale's in New Haven and I live like on the border of New Haven and I don't know I think I had a different experience in Connecticut because I was kind of going to it was technically like an inner city high school so like I don't know, it was people from a bunch of different backgrounds, which was really interesting. But then, like, my roommate lives in Newtown, Connecticut, which is a really, like, rural area. And, like, her entire school, I think it was, like, 95% or something was white. And I don't know, it was just so interesting. Like, I would tell her things. I'd be like, yeah, didn't this used to happen to you in public school? And she's like, no. Like, I don't know. Just very sheltered, I think, in Connecticut. Um which I'm really grateful that I met a lot of different people and learned so much, you know? Yeah, because if you were in a different town, maybe it wouldn't have happened. Mm-hmm. I guess you could say that about a lot of states, but totally. I guess you heard it here. Connecticut has... Connecticut. That it's okay. deeply layered and faceted. And New Haven style pizza is oh. so good. It's kind of like... There's no good pizza place around here, in my opinion. Okay, really? sorry, What's we're kind of like going the off one, the... Yeah, I know. Tra- Are we, I don't think it matters. Okay, it? okay. okay. <laughs> 
I like, don't know when we're supposed to stop. I kind of like flatbreads. Um, have you ever had like a brick oven pizza? Like it's really thin and it's oh, kind of charred on the Haven? bottom. Yeah. I like thick. You like thick? Well, not oh. like not like deep. I was going to say. But, like I love. Like Sicilian Like pizza? flatbread is like restaurant pizza. Like that's what you're getting when you're going to like a restaurant. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I mean like takeout pizza. Like I love like so classic. Do you, you know like, like Domino's isn't takeout pizza. Like that's no, its own no, no. thing. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you like like Leonardo's? Okay, that's like school that's also function. Too. That's school function pizza. Okay, what pizza place do you like? I don't know. What's the place behind City Market? I really oh, like their pizza. Oh, Felino's. I really like their pizza. I think you would because that is giving it's thin. New Haven. Yeah, like, it's thin. That's not my favorite. Like that's okay. like a flatbread. I guess flatbread. Like that's yeah, separate yeah, yeah. than like pizza to me. Yeah. Like, I mean, no, I totally see the variations. Like, I (laughs) put New Haven style pizza in its own category. And I I love other pizza, but there's something about it. So good. So good. Yeah. And it's right next to this Italian pastry shop called Libby's. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite place in Boston? Pizza? Or just anything? (laughs) I don't even know. (laughs) Um, I literally don't know. I don't even have like a favorite anything. Really? But there's like a lot. Like it's just there's so many. Like even yeah. in my neighborhood, there's like ten pizza spots. It's like where I, do we want to go? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not like in this. Well, like I'm in Boston, but I'm not like downtown or anything. Yeah, like okay. Like in a separate neighborhood. Is there a reason you didn't want to go to school in Boston? You just like wanted to leave because I, I think if I wasn't from Boston, I would love to go to school there. Yeah. But like I was already there, so I was like, oh, maybe we should go out. But like I didn't have a specific <laughs> reason to come to UVM. It was like COVID, and I was like basically like dot on a map like where am I going okay, me too me too yeah I like toured UVM in person oh. and it was a self-guided tour because this COVID was still going on so it was a self-guided tour and it what? was they give you a map is that why so many people were lost around that time yes my dad and I got into this big fight but it was he was like no we're going here I'm like no we're not but anyways that is so irrelevant um it was a beautiful day in April and I was like Oh my God! So all the like, hammocks It looks were like out. Harvard. I mean, not. Beautiful. It looks like Hogwarts, like that one yes, street that they yes. only take pictures of. That's the university what place got me. That's yeah. what got me. And then you go over to like athletic campus and you're like, Oh, right, I didn't so realize we were living in prisons. I didn't know athletic campus was a thing. Right. Yeah. I didn't tour, so. Wow. I didn't like. Did you know. like a virtual tour? I know they had those. I like literally like. So you just. I just. <laughs> I just came here. <laughs> I don't even know. Wow, that's great though. Four years later. <laughs> Okay, that's scary. I don't even want to talk about that, but yeah, let's. We have <laughs> next subject this whole semester. Here yeah, exactly. To, yeah, I've never done something. I think it was good to get like an internship too, because like mm-hmm. I haven't got them like in the summers. I haven't done like a real internship. I've done like I've never done an jobs. internship. Yeah. yeah, but this is an internship. It's not even like I don't know the way it reads is like a nor- one that you do like over the summer, like a really yeah, official, so, mm-hmm. even if it's like a chorus do you go home over the summer yeah me I go too back to Boston. i i kind of wish i spent one summer here but I it was kind of like oh i want to go home and see like my friends and my exactly. cat my family gets so upset when i leave oh. i just feel so bad yeah it's actually a problem they kind of guilt me sometimes i'm oh. like i'm in college guys <laughs> i have to go yeah yeah but I don't know. I feel like summers are like kind of forget about the academic space. So that's why I like it. Yeah, but apparently like Burlington, well, not to make you like miss out. No, No, go for it. No, but apparently like it's just like a whole different vibe in the summer. Probably really fun. Probably so much parking. (laughs) (gasps) Okay, I was thinking that. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Heaven. Like Mm -hmm. never having to, you can just go wherever. That's insane. It's insane. Like I have to think about if I really want to leave the house after two because like, am I going to have to walk a mile? (laughs) You literally... I got in this whole parking fiasco with my roommate and now we're going to be alternating who gets our free spot and who gets the street every week. Every week? Every week. That's hard because I feel like it's more apt to do like when you need it, but it's too difficult to exactly. negotiate that. Exactly. So it's like, it's really hard, but it's been a whole saga and I probably shouldn't talk about that on this, but, um, well, well, you know what? I was literally talking, I was like, the question was like, what do I want to do content of? And I couldn't. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. But one thing I was like, parking. <laughs> <gasps> parking is good. I mean, people will get mad on the camera if we, yeah. I think Wait, people would good. have a lot to say. You should have like a, I can't write on that. I have like my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's make a little, oh my God, I love well, your we can phone do that case. After. Oh, thank you. I just got it for Christmas. That's so Description. Cute. 
yeah. multitude of colorful ghosts. Mm-hmm. One is a tomato. Case defy. I have a ghost it's tattoo. called after party. I have a ghost tattoo and he has a cowboy hat on. I know it's kind of basic. It was a Friday the 13th sale tattoo. <laughs> okay, but flashes are so like worth it. I know. I have a, a one right here and one right here from Friday the 13th. That's so cool. Right? Was yeah. it the same day? Um, two separate Friday the 13th? Two separate ones. Two separate ones. Yeah. And one was in New Hampshire and one was in Burlington. Yeah. It's a big thing. And usually like... Ooh, do you think you're haunted or... I don't know. I just thought he was cute. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. I do too. Have you ever seen a ghost? You look I think like my you childhood something. house is haunted. <gasps> oh, really? I think. Okay. It just feels like it and some stuff has happened. Like some really? weird stuff has happened. Oh my gosh. Have you ever watched uh, Ghost Adventures? With like Zach Bagans and stuff? No. Oh. Is that the one where they're like, is that like one of the really dramatic ones where they're like, talk if you can hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. And it just, it, you hear like, it's and like, he's like, oh my God, he said his name is Dave. Like, girl, please. <laughs> yes. It's exactly like that. And that's why I like it. I also watched a lot of middle school. I watched, um, so now I find it comforting. Did you watch like BuzzFeed Unsolved? Of course. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah. that was good. Yeah. It was good. Shane Dawson had a series. I mean, oh, we the don't stand him anymore. One, but or no, the ghost. Like ones. a lot of the ghost ones. I don't stand him anymore. I don't think I ever <laughs> stand I, him. I just liked his video. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> That's on record now. Yeah, you are literally canceled. Oh my God. Fiona pointed at me. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, wait, where did we start this from? Oh, parking. Parking? How did we get there? Oh, phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Parking is really good. I feel like it'll also bring up a lot of stories, too. I think it's funny. The amount of... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I have my own. Like, All right. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, about the... So, we should do parking maybe first. I feel like that'd be I mean, really yeah, we have video. the idea, so... Yeah, yeah. And then we could maybe... I don't know. I feel like the leather thing could really be interesting. And I feel That's like so we get cool. a bunch of different opinions, too. And also people who just, like, don't know where they stand. Like, me. Like, I, I don't know, really. Like, Yeah, I I'd love like to I help you with that. I'm a, like, I'm a vegetarian, so mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't... But, like, I own Doc Martens. Like, isn't that leather? <gasps> yeah. So it's like... Yeah, because they have fake leather ones. There's like a vegan lifestyle and then there's like vegan eating. And I always, I don't think I knew that. I think, I feel like I would assume like, I feel like I just didn't think about it. Like you think food, but then like it comes and it's just like makes sense. Yeah. There's like the honey debate. What's the honey debate? Is honey vegan? (laughs) I don't know. I've heard that it's like a very. I feel like no, because it's, uh, I don't know. What do you think? But it's like. But also, it's not coming. Uh, oh yeah, wait. They're no, not I feel killing like it's not the bees. Vegans. Yeah, but they don't kill to make milk, and vegans don't do oh, that. Oh my, you're so right. I yeah. don't know. I don't know what the debate is. I've just heard it actually. That's really interesting. But I think yeah, the vegan leather because one facet is like it's a small business. I'm sure it's locally sourced, mm-hmm. and it's like a nice old couple. Yeah. Um, and then on the other hand, it's like, why? You know, it has to end anyway. Or like, it's- if you don't believe in it, then. You can't, like, yeah. make those exceptions because it's... Early. I would love to, like, go a little, like, down another angle, too, with the couple and be like, hey, what do you think about vegans? Like, I want a little controversy, yeah. you know? Yeah, what, do you, what is your response to people who are against yeah. leather and your entire livelihood? <laughs> and I want to, like, predict their answer but at the same time they seem very, like, liberal Vermont. Okay. So it's like, I don't know, maybe they'll be open. I don't know. Now I'm Mm. interested. But I'm also kind of nervous. I don't know. I think they'll take the spotlight on, hopefully. Yeah. I hope. It's a really small store, too. So we have to... I totally know. (laughs) Yeah, I totally... I don't even know. I think because one day I'm like, what the heck? Is is it... It's next to, like, Vivid, I think? It's next to Like, on that side street. Yeah. And it's also next to, like, a wine store that sells really expensive wine. Yeah. Interesting. I've realized in my, like, last semester, like... I don't, I don't go anywhere. Like I go to like the same three places. Like same. I really need to like explore and maybe that's something we could do too. And totally find out places that maybe spotlight. I don't know. I would love to go to the ice caves. Have you been there? No. It's Where like, I don't know. People kind Not of in talk it up. It's in Burlington. It's by the like elementary school. Not, not on college. Street. Yeah. I was about to say uh, right there. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. But there's like ice caves and I've gone there once and it's just like the way the ice and everything is like it's like really colorful and it's like frozen really cool. I'll show you a picture. Oh, um, we should do that. We should just do like a cute edit of it. I don't even yeah. need that's not even talk to anybody. It's just like artsy. But there was like a lot of little kids there and like parents and I feel like that'd be fun. Like I'd be fun hey, to talk to you. Like, what are you, you doing? Why today? are you here? Yeah. Like, what, what do you guys that's Unless we so go cool. and there's no one there. And also you do have to walk over a frozen pond. So that's a bit that's scary, even cooler. but pretty cool. Yeah. Had a couple falling shots. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They do shovel a path if there's snow on the pond too. So is, I guess if it's, it's a pond, it's not like the lake. Apparently, okay, side note. Okay. I was talking to somebody. I don't know what his role is. He's definitely somebody at UVM, but he was talking about how like in the 70s and 80s or maybe not even that long ago, but like 30, 30 years ago, I'll say uh-huh. like that's the 90s. That's crazy is like they would or whenever i don't know i don't know why i'm but they could you could drive over the lake champlain like everyone just drove over it because it was that frozen but now like it's too Whoa. warm that's really interesting they, I'm they would just in a climate change class actually oh. i'm in a climate change and writing class and it's all about how like you don't see climate change in fictional pieces and it's like what does this country love more like than anything fictional stuff so it's you like, do though I mean, like what? I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know, in the writing class I take, like, there's a lot of, like, all the, like, sci-fi and stuff is, like, coded with climate change. So that's interesting. We haven't touched on sci-fi yet. So just, like, just in general. Just, like, not addressed. Yeah. And, like, we're going to be writing screenplays about who's the teacher sarah nilson oh i had her for screenwriting i did too i took screenwriting oh. yeah uh, she's insane she's literally <laughs> she's yeah. a mess but <laughs> she's, she's on <laughs> sorry sarah nilson i love you um I, uh, she's <laughs> just really highly intelligent and i just like i feel like i learn little bits of pieces because she's so passionate it's a bit scary yeah. you know especially about climate change because she's an animal activist and we oh, recently watched like I, now i feel like i don't know anything about her exactly i took screen- a miyazaki class with her mm. it was miyazaki and the environment sorry i my cut old you off roommate. so hard no, no no my old roommate took that oh really when she took it we were roommates sophomore year oh, maybe okay. junior year actually so maybe last year i think she took the miyazaki class oh, okay then i went on she she was a <gasps> Oh, I know um, Gwen McArdle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I work um, with Gwen. Oh, wow. Oh, at Event Services. Yeah. I think I knew she worked there. Um, yeah, yeah Donchi was my sophomore year roommate. I've talked to Donchi before. Oh. And uh, she's like abroad now, right? She's like living la- large, like yeah, all she's over. Like making, uh, she was making a film with Miles or something. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. And then she contacted me once. She was like, hey, Gwen McArdle gave me your number. I was hoping you could give me access to the virtual uh, Vermont Film Festival films. And I was like, they're not doing them virtual this year. But this is so, I just felt the need to tell you that. Wow. Um, I didn't know she was making a movie with Miles. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know if like. Or how that even works. They made it or something. Yeah. I just oh, heard. She actually texted me yesterday. I need to get back to her. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. One time she didn't respond to Gwen for like three days and Gwen was like, oh, I think she's dead. She's in Italy somewhere and I don't know. And she wasn't dead. But Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly she wasn't dead. Yeah. Um, um, what, wait, what were we talking Oh, Mizaki and the environment. And like Sarah Nelson is just so educated and she literally, is, I guess, she knows a lot about Disney She's like a Disney, Disney scholar. adult scholar. I know. Oh, no, yeah. different facets. Yeah, Disney different. scholar. She actually did. She was interviewed by someone from Good Morning America recently about Disney adults. So she does all these crazy what? interviews. They fly her out to New York last semester what? so she could talk about a Disney documentary because she's the only like Disney scholar um, close to New York, I, I guess. not hard to believe Isn't almost. Isn't that crazy? So, I think there'd be like a field of them. I know. With the amount of people that are obsessed with it, but I guess that's just I know. Separate. Yeah. Crazy. So she just has all these like really good connections and I feel like she's been really focused on like um, job building and resume building recently. In your so, class? Yeah. She'll like bring it in and be like, listen guys, if you want to go into this field, like this is really important. You should attend this. She's brought someone in to talk about her marketing career in the film industry and stuff. Um, I don't know. 
I we understand. did not get any of that. Screenwriting sucked. Screenwriting sucked. I was gonna say. I was like, I did not get this experience. Yeah, not <laughs> fun. Not fun. Wait, when did you take screenwriting? Uh, last fall. Oh wait, who was your class? It, I don't think you were. No, oh, wait. I took screenwriting last. I don't remember when. I was there was a girl named Allie with curly blonde hair? Was there that really annoying kid who like was actually terrible and like was really disruptive? <laughs> <laughs> there if, was a lot. Oh, you I think? don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, well, what was your no? What was your final sitcom? Oh, I'd oh, remember right, that. Right, right, right. Okay, it was about a a woman. No, no, a man who came to a small Vermont town and taught at a really weird school. No, that's okay. cool though. Oh, Ours was um. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it was like these four like college students, um, mm-hmm. like didn't get housing, like couldn't get housing. So they were like trapped and then they found like this one house and they all like weren't friends and then it's haunted. So there was like a ghost living with them and he was okay. like the ghost of a frat dude that had died there in like the nineties. That's good. Mine. It wasn't was well written. Horrible. She tore us apart. Really? Yeah. Wow. She, she tore, tore everybody apart. She tore ours apart, but like we knew it was bad, so we kind of just laughed. It was just our jokes that were bad. Apparently, like we were like they were just horrible. Like mine was not. I funny. thought I was funny. <laughs> I guess I'd write something and I'd be like, "This is good," huh? and then I'd read it and be like, "Oh my god, it's that's horrible. embarrassing Delete too, it. a little bit because it's like you're very embarrassing. Like, yeah, yeah. But she had well, also it was interesting because I felt like she had a very dated view of sitcoms. Like she was she talking did. about one thing that just stood out to me she's talking about parks and rec and she's like you guys aren't getting like the characters like the way we were writing them like you can't build them up for change like would let you have you watched parks and rec yeah like she's like would leslie nope ever get married like no she would never and she literally does in the show and has kids and finds her true love like she was saying like that character would never like have a love interest that's because so that's the way sitcoms work but i feel like they've developed so much like, they have they have to like she have is characters. slightly detached because she doesn't even have a phone yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to like love her and idolize her she, just from what I'm hearing. Like I don't know. She's like really awesome. But like you can't sign up for her classes. Like I learned after screenwriting. I was like, I can't sign up and expect a something. Like oh. I have to expect her lecturing on something completely different and then I'll learn about that opposed to what I signed up for, okay. if that makes sense. I don't yeah. know. But yeah, I'm shocked about like the climate change class. Yeah, it's really interesting. We watched uh have you ever seen writing? Is it a film class? It's like, yeah, it's technically a film class, but we're going to do a lot of writing, she said. Um, We're also reading a lot about, like, documentary making, about uh, animal activism and stuff. And, like, climate change. I think last year there was, or whenever I was taking the class, there was a the pig movie for the Vermont Film Festival. And I think it just, like, followed the life of a pig or a cow from, like, birth to murder. That's so interesting. Is she a vegan? Um... Maybe. She is a vegetarian. Okay, queen. Sorry, I buffered. Yeah, vegetarian. Because she's talked about it so many times. And now we are circling back to our leather conversation. Exactly. So I feel like it'd be even cool to get her opinion. That'd be That'd cool. That'd be sick. I like, get me back in contact with her. Like, apparently she's really important. She's got a lot of contacts. Like I actually saw her in the hall the other day and I was like, but she doesn't know who I am. You know that face you make when you pass someone? I'm like... Uh, hey well i saw her walking to class the other day and she went oh hey gwen she started walking with me and we were talking and talking we we're actually talking about this internship so you've had three classes with her that's good i like don't i have enough like repeat i teachers. know like, i, I know. need to like that's an office hour or something. i'm kind of glad the film department's small too because it's just that's like good. a nice community and i can ask them and reach out to them but we were walking and i usually take the elevator in innovation and i was like uh oh, she's not gonna take the elevator. So she had me open it up the stairs, and I was like <gasps> talking to her. Wow. And she she's was got fine. Movement, yeah. And then I was like, I've gotta start doing those. And she goes, Do you work out? I was like, No. <laughs> what? I don't wanna talk about this, Sarah. But yeah. So I can definitely, I have access to her. That's what I'm trying to say. That'd that be interesting. sounds like a plan yeah. to me. It'd be really good. Yeah. That's cool. Well, if oh. we got anything from this conversation, we have two yeah, projects. We do. 
How many hours do you have here, like, a week? So I'm going to try to get three credits. So I have to do 10 hours a week. Okay, me too. Oh, perfect. I like working in a team if you Are do. I like... 100%, 100%, 100%. Even, especially, like, Fridays, Travis said that he won't be here mm -hmm. uh, starting, like, February or something. Mm -hmm. But also, I feel like if we're doing a story, the two of us, like, we could both come in on and Friday. I have Fridays. Like, I don't have class. Me too. I don't have class either. So um, Okay. This is good. This that is, is good. good. What other days do you come in? I'm trying to figure out my schedule. Um, I don't know. Really I'm yet. trying to, I'm going to reflect this weekend and see what worked and what didn't. Okay. Um, I'll get back to you. I think I worked Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I don't know if we want to like align our so we can edit together or something. Yeah, someone. That would be I mean, cool. No. I we should get each other's do, like numbers. Yeah. yeah. Do that too. Does this need to be on air? I don't know. Uh, well, you're probably not. I've seen the whole process. I don't exactly. know how to end it. Um, I guess we have to keep going until we get Travis's attention. Sounds good. Well, um, I can't do Mondays, but obviously you can, we could, we don't have to be here oh, all God. the same time. <laughs> Shut it down. What the heck? <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking maybe Tuesdays, Thursdays. I don't know. I have like a weird, on um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, I only have one class, but it's like one to two thirty. Oh, so it's just like sucks. awkward. Like, yeah. And I thought it was good. I don't know. And I'm starting a new job, like for nights. Like at a, what job? A server. <gasps> oh, make him. those tips. Yes. yes. Have you been a you server before? Been. Yes, I have. I did. Um, a while. Well, last year I worked. Have you ever heard of the Venetian Soda Lounge? I'm going there tomorrow. Why? I'm going there tomorrow because they're having like a cocktail and mocktail night. Cool. It's on UVM board and it's like 18 plus and it's free and there's like live music, I think. Are you not 21? No. <laughs> I'm 20. I'll be 21 on Easter this year. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know. <laughs> Praise <So>. Jesus. <laughs> really? Um, did you like it or no? working there no not at all is hell but um yeah. it's a cool cool spot and you know i got to listen like jazz like every night which I'm only excited. got annoying like very occasionally it was yeah, pretty cool yeah. most of the time nice so, so yeah working there sucked so but i so i bartended there or like oh, i bar back and made my way up oh. I'm, not a good, I'm not a good at it. um <sighs> and then i went home for the summer and i got like a serving job and i bartended Thanks. sometimes there so yeah. I really needed, and then this semester, like last semester, I didn't like have a job. I was like, I'll get one, and then like I got like, yeah, over on the school you get swamped. and stuff happened, and I was like, I just kept putting it on the back burner, and then I was like, beyond broke. <laughs> so I really had to get on it this semester, and it's really hard, especially having like a non UVM affiliated job because like they don't care about your schedule and like when you have to change things. Yeah, it's just a little more awkward. Yeah. So where are you working now? Applebee's. I got it. <gasps> oh my god, that's so fun. I'm like embarrassed, but I shouldn't be, but I kind of am. Um, let me confess something. Okay. I love Applebee's dessert. I was looking at it because I got a free meal on my first training day. <laughs> uh, but there's literally only like two things for me to eat. There's one entree for me to eat, but oh, like right, there's a bunch vegetarian. of sides yeah, and apps. Yeah, yeah. I can live off mozzarella sticks. Like, <laughs> yeah. dude, at the Venetian Soda Lounge, there was only, <laughs> I'm outing these people. There was only, I don't care because he didn't, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> It was only an air fryer with like pretzel sticks and mozzarella sticks. Like that's all there was. So I was eating that like every night anyway. Oh my god! How can it's only you... like bar food. Yeah, it's in like a restaurant. That's interesting. Sometimes bar food slaps, and sometimes it's just. Ugh. Well, it's just after a while. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, you know, so app, I'm fine with sides and apps. Like, Applebee's. I was just talking to someone actually today about um, the desserts. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god. But also just like. I love frozen desserts like Applebee's, Chili's, places like that. Where Chili's is superior. Olive I will Garden say that. dessert. I've like, never been to Olive Garden. That's like my number one. Never have I ever prompt. God. Before it gets weird, I'm like, do never you, have I ever been to Olive Garden. Do you like like crappy pasta? And stuff? I feel like you know what I will say. Well, I just never went there growing up, so I feel like that. Right. Has, we were a chili like we didn't go out that much. We were McDonald's and Chili's. I feel like we're like yeah outing mm -hmm. <laughs> meals, but um. I feel like when I go out to eat for pasta, like, I would never get pasta. Like, I could do pasta. Exactly. Like, any, and I feel like I did have pasta, like, four times a week as a kid. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so, like, I was like, I'm not getting pasta. So, I grew up like that. So, I feel like they I don't usually. have, like, soup. And mm. even their salad is pretty good. Bread sticks. Are you bread sticks? I'm going to go just out? for that. Yeah. They're I was soft, actually... right? They're not hard. Oh, they're soft. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh, my God. I need to go. So but then good. I can't say I've never been to Olive Garden anymore. And you that's just, just something lie. I'm, like, holding you're so right. I think you I should that do wear that. me down eventually. <laughs> you can come up with something else that you've never been to. I've never been to Arby's. 
Oh, perfect. Have you? No. Oh, well. Wait, no, yes, I have. Yes, okay. I have. Yes, I have. Because then it shut down. Did you know that Applebee's is owned by a company that it's like the Flynn Group and they own Applebee's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, Panera, Arby's. Whoa, 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 whoa. And like one other thing. Oh All my. of them owned. And then they're not called Flynn Restaurant Group anymore because they just bought Planet Fitness. So now they're just like Flynn Group. What? All of those owned by the same people. Okay. You know what that's giving? It's a separate issue. It's giving the TJX family. I worked for Marshalls um, for a R. bit. I, I know. It I feel was, like that destroys it. It was you. actually the worst job I've had. Really? I still like wandering around Marshalls though. But That's different. Um, Sierra, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls and something else is all owned by tjx i knew about the triplets like marshall's yeah. home goods tj max old navy gap banana republic i didn't know banana republic was related to i didn't know that still existed gap. so it's on church street banana republic yeah Girl. you need to i'm just Open kidding my <laughs> eyes like i literally do i walk by no because now i have like the senior like rose goggles on like yeah I, I've, I've had some terrible experiences here but like i'm like oh my god like I'm leaving. Like, oh my gosh, look at this soup store. I've never been here. Like, Zabby Elf soup? Yeah, I've yeah. never been. It's like, okay. It's all okay, about the well, vibes. Exactly. And get a dessert. The desserts are good. Back to Applebee's desserts. Okay, though, go I was ahead. Looking Sorry, at my yeah, meal, like, I just looked at the back and I was like, oh, I better get these for free. Okay. One of my favorite things in life. I feel like I'm on one of those stupid like podcast shows now. Now we're <laughs> becoming what we hate. You what live I, long enough. One of my favorite things in life is frozen chocolate lava cake and they take it out they warm it up and it's i knew you were gonna say lava cake before gooey. you said anything I just my nose on that. that scared me <laughs> i knew you were gonna say you lava knew it cake. it was it's just so good do you are you familiar with the, the establishment old country buffet <laughs> no it was basically you pay to get in and then it's like a buffet style restaurant I love that. yeah and they had like this lava cake just tray <gasps> by tray Oh, that's so good. Probably right out of the freezer. That is, I love it. I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Like when you make it at home, I've made lava cake before. How Just, do you do it? What's the inside made of? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was a King Arthur flour mix and then we added something else and, oh. but... I feel like that's mm-hmm. one of those things that like isn't made. It just like happens. It just, yeah, like, yeah, exists. Yeah, because it seems so pretty, like so artificial. Mm-hmm. So it, there's just nothing like being it served it on a plate and with like a scoop of like vanilla ice cream. I don't like vanilla ice cream, but when it's with chocolate cake, that's my favorite. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't like chocolate ice cream. <gasps> okay, well then, <laughs> I worked at an ice cream shop once. Ben and Jerry's? No, it was. It's my hometown. It's called Wentworths, and like they made their own ice cream in the back. It was so good. Sometimes the owner would be like, Gwen, come back here. Like, come back here. She'd be like, you got to taste this ice cream. Because right out of the machine, she's like, there's nothing like this. And I would just take some spoonfuls. So good. So good. So good. If you're ever a very in individual Hamden, Connecticut, experience. Yeah. That's cool. It was incredible. And she got all, like, the cream and stuff from a farm in, like, Maine. Like, I don't know. It was a very, like, ethically sourced right. thing, which was interesting because Hamden, Connecticut is not like that at all. Um it was a great experience. It was my first job ever, too. Oh, yeah. Wow. The ice cream is so good. good. How and old were you? I was 16. And now my little sister... I was actually hired at 15, then wait until I was 16 to go. Now my little sister is working at an ice cream shop, too. One? Yeah, a different one. Oh, and is it her first job? Yes, it's her first job. She's it's, taking after her I sister. Know. Oh, she's 16? Yeah. My sister's 16. I have oh a 16-year-old God. sister. And she wears her little ice cream earrings. I'm like, oh, you're oh. following the dynasty. That's cute. <laughs> Yeah. Well, where else have you worked? Um, go through a journey. <laughs> I feel like I babysat a lot when I was younger, and my mom like used to run a daycare out of our house. Oh which was, wow, like, that's bad. A crazy experience, but got a lot of connections. So I yeah. babysat for a long time, and then I think my first real job was at a preschool, and I was like fifteen. Like I think wow. I was too young to be like taking care of other people's children. Paid like under the table. Paid under the table like 10 an hour wow um literally cleaning up other people's kids and i mean i loved i love kids but like i do too but like i feel like it was a lot like why is like the weight of the world on my shoulders like, right now like, these children's lives yeah um that's that a lot. bad and then i got like a i was in like almost like a student government but for like 
all of Boston high schools. It was kind of cool. It was like wow. a Boston Student Advisory Council. That's really cool. So I got like a lot of political experience. Did you get paid? Experience. Got to? paid. Nice. But like got paid to do things almost similarly to this. Not that it's paid, but like the experience. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it structured me to be able to like learn about legislation and talk, go to like lobby and talk to mm-hmm. things about like things we cared about too. Like it was like student rights, environmental justice. Oh, that's great. And like, wow. So it's cool. And so that was sick and I got paid. And mm-hmm. yeah, like I, the sad thing was that I wouldn't have done it if I didn't got paid. Like I should have, like, you know, but <laughs> yeah. I think people should be paid for their, yeah, I don't know. Totally. Um, so I worked there and then came here. Wow. And I work like, yeah, just different things. Yeah. Like, few, few more server things is out. great. I think I'm too nervous to be a server. Really? Yeah. But like, okay, can you buckle up for a second? Here's my job journey. So I was an ice cream server. And then I also throughout all this, I was a stage manager in my oh, like high school theater department. No. Oh, yeah. I but it that. was like working around that because the director was crazy and had like crazy after hours. And I'd have to. Anyway, so ice cream shop. Then I went to Marshall's. Then I went to Goodwill. Oh, then I've heard her terrible things. I loved people. working at Goodwill. Oh. It was I heard you couldn't really buy anything. No, you can't. But I just have people come in and... Someone got fired for that on TikTok. Really? Oh, my God. Most of the clothing I own is from Goodwill because I'm like, I live near it. So I'd be like, okay, like to my sister, like, come in and get this. I hid it somewhere. I should not be saying this. You can't get fired. That's true. That's true. And then I got a job at this coffee shop uh, for like two weeks. And then I had kind of a mental breakdown. So I had to quit that. And then I got a job up here and I didn't even start before I got a different job at University Event Services. So I was working at Thorn and Roots, technically Where employed. It's on Church Street. What is it? Um it's like really healthy like bowls. It's almost like pokey works. Oh, okay. But I literally don't know it. I need to open my eyes. Yeah. I mean it's cool in there. I just I'd have to walk down the church street and I was like, event services is just good. So then I worked there. And then during the summer, I worked at an old people's home and I was a barista. (laughs) Listen, when I was really packing on the heat on Indeed, what kept coming up was like server, server. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, why is no one like why? And I look and it's an assisted living facility. And I'm like, I'm a server that like I didn't get really how that would. Yeah. Is it, like, to give a sense of normalcy, or did they, like, pay, really? So, like, a server at where I was, I didn't want to be a server. I just, I worked at the cafe. Yeah, the cafe. Like, did they pay real money, or was it, like... They... No. No, so they couldn't tip me or anything. Because it's almost like they have points. Yeah. they pay for, like, a dining plan. So, no, they'd, like... I'd look them up, and some people would actually pay if they didn't buy that plan or something. Right. This oh, guy, so it's like working at Henderson's, it, <laughs> like literally. Okay, exactly. And this one guy, John, he always paid with his card, and he sometimes he tried to give me money, and it would take him so long. I'd be like, "Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it." He'd be like, "What? What?" I'm like, "Don't worry about it. Just go sit down. I'll bring you your food." What? What? <laughs> like, um, so adorable. It was. That's probably my favorite job. Really? And I have it if I, when I go back, like they said, like, you can still have it. Oh, wow. so it For like great. the summer? Yeah. And I would always work like eight hour shifts. So I would like, the time would go by and then I would just make a lot of money at the end of the week and be like, wow, I made a lot of money. What hours would it be that they need it for it eight hours? Like early? 7 a.m. to what hour, what, eight hours from there. person? Because you said you worked at 7 this morning. What do they need you I'm for at event services at 7 person. in the morning? There's just events all day. So, like, you just got to set up things. I set it up oh. set up things in near Given in HSRF. Do you feel like drive the truck and stuff? Mm-hmm. I am not driver certified because I'm too nervous. Right. Even though I have a license. Don't worry, everyone. But I just don't want to do that. I don't care about moving up at the ranks in that job. Like, I just well, want to yeah. move some tables, do some tech and get out you know i should have done that to be honest i should have got a job there it's I awesome but yeah it's here good. i am applebee's yeah, coming your way you can make tips yeah yeah that'll be good that's great and the stakes are low because it's applebee's you know kind of yeah i mean honestly because normal jobs like they really hype up like the rules to start yeah and he was like 
uh, like everything he said, he was like, we don't really enforce that here. Like we would lose half our staff. <laughs> and I was like, bad, <laughs> like literally bad. But I love when I walked in and see like people of all ages, like there are a group of young people, but people oh, yeah. of all ages, I'm like, I'm about to have the time of my life. I could do a story on Applebee's. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. We're, we're gonna we wrap up. Okay, okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, well, thank you for talking with me. Yeah, and we got some ideas. We did get some ideas, and we're we're a team now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Fiona this is gonna be great. And Gwen signing out on GF like C- A B C D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G-F-G. Um, CCTV podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.